So what is the right to jury trial or trial by jury of one's peers under the Sixth and Seventh Amendment? Well, the right differs between um, civil and criminal cases. So in civil cases, there's a limited uh, right to jury. Uh, it's tied to an amount in controversy, which is generally extremely low. Um, but in, in most jurisdictions, they establish courts that have limited jurisdictions based upon an amount in controversy. Now, uh, oftentimes these limited jurisdiction courts do not give a party the right to a jury trial. That is, um, they, they cannot elect to have a, a jury in those cases. So if a party in a civil case of that nature wants to have a jury trial, it has to bring the action in superior court or the court of general jurisdiction in that area. And that's generally more burdensome, more costly, etc. cetera. Uh, so if there's not a significant amount in controversy, it's not worth it. And so this is what is required uh, to have access uh, to a jury in this situation. So there's these procedural steps in place that make it so an individual um, ha does have some limited access to uh, a jury in civil cases. Now, in criminal cases, however, if a person faces uh, criminal incarceration or, or uh, they can be put in jail, okay, then there's always a right to uh, a jury trial in that situation if so elected. Now, there may be lower level cases where um, uh, the court itself does not does not allow for, again, a jury trial at this level. Well, that allows uh, the individual subject to the criminal charge or sanction to uh, remove the case to a higher level uh, state court in which they can ask for a jury trial in that matter. And if that be the case, uh, they, they, again, it, it's uh, more costly, but it does allow the individual uh, the right to a jury trial because, again, and the key there is that they potentially face some level of imprisonment or incarceration.